So guys, someone asked me a question the other day ago in the comments section of one of my videos. They said, I'm not a very technical person. I don't like computers. Can you tell us some high paying trade jobs where I can make more money than the average person? Kind of a high salary, but in the trades. So I said, you know what? That's a great question. Let me do a video to answer that question. So that's why I'm doing this video. So in this video, I'm gonna give you 10 high paying trade jobs where you don't need a four year college degree to actually have these high paying jobs. And these are jobs that are in high demand as well. Exactly what is a trade job? A trade job is a career that doesn't necessarily require a four year degree or a master's degree, but instead requires some specialized training. Now, people who are seeking these trade jobs, you can get that training in various ways, right? Vocational school, maybe a two-year associate degree, perhaps some on-the-job training, some apprenticeships, right? There's various ways you can get the training for these trade jobs. But the key is, you don't have to sit in school for four years or six years. And trade schools and apprenticeships, all those things typically take less time and less money to complete. With any of the jobs that I talk about in this video, you can always make more money if you decide to become, say, a business owner and become the employer as opposed to the employee. So let's jump into it. Here are the 10 high paying trade jobs that do not require a four year college degree. And they're in demand now and they'll be in demand in the future. Now, the very first high paying trade job that doesn't require a four year college degree is diesel mechanics. Now, this trade is for the person who likes to work with their hands. Man, woman, doesn't matter. So if you work as a bus or a truck mechanic or a diesel mechanic or a diesel engine specialist, you're gonna be operating a wide range of large diesel engines. You're gonna be inspecting, repairing, and overhauling buses, trucks, and other diesel engines. Now, the training for this is vocational schools and on-the-job training. The average salary can be anywhere from $70,000 a year to $90,000 a year or more. That's just the average. It depends on where you live and what type of job you have. And I know you may be saying, well, what about electrical vehicles? Aren't they gonna outpace and misplace diesel engines? No, not necessarily, guys. Electrical vehicles are down the road. And if it ever happens where electrical vehicles replace diesel engines, listen, if that takes place, it's just a matter of transitioning your skills as a diesel mechanic into the electrical vehicle space. But otherwise, diesel mechanics are gonna be around for quite a while, guys. The demand is gonna remain high. Now, the second high paying trade job that doesn't require a four year college degree and is in demand is plumbers, pipe fitters, and steam fitters. Look, water has to move somehow. And if you're talking about a challenge, working as a plumber or a steam fitter or a pipe fitter will give you plenty of things to challenge you, right? When you're trying to figure out workarounds for pipe and steam applications and installations. You'll have plenty of challenges, but these jobs are critical to both commercial and industrial infrastructures and critical to people who have a house, residential, right? Everybody needs a plumber. So you're gonna be installing, repairing, and dealing with water, gas, steam on a regular basis. The training is typically apprenticeship programs and of course on the job training as well. Now the average salary for a plumber, pipe fitter, or steam fitter is anywhere from $70,000 a year to more than $100,000 a year. It just depends. But look, a good plumber is always in demand. A good pipe fitter or steam fitter, they are always in demand because water has to move, period. It always has to move. Who keeps it moving? Exactly. Let's go to number three. The third high paying job trade that doesn't require a four year college degree is a wind turbine technician. Look, we've all been on the road rolling and we see these big old wind turbines out there in the countryside somewhere. Somebody has to repair those. Somebody has to go up in there and fix those things if something goes wrong. That's part of what a wind turbine technician is gonna do. They install and maintain and repair wind turbines and make sure they operate efficiently. And as wind becomes more and more in demand as a source of energy, look for this trade to become more and more sought after. Training is usually technical schools and certifications. The average salary is anywhere from $70,000 to $90,000 or more. The demand for wind turbine technicians can only go up from here. Now the fourth high paying job trade that is in demand and doesn't require a four year college degree is an HVAC technician. 
In other words, heating, ventilation, air conditioning. Now this trade is specific to tending to the residential or the commercial heating and cooling needs of every building that you see. Look, I own rental properties and my HVAC guy stays incredibly busy. Winters, summers, doesn't matter. Whether you're residential, you're commercial, industrial, doesn't matter. Any building you see needs to have its heating and its cooling done. So the demand for HVAC technicians is always gonna be there. You're gonna be installing, maintaining, and repairing heating, ventilation, and cooling systems. The training involves trade schools, certifications, apprenticeships, and of course, on-the-job training. The average salary can be anywhere from $70,000 a year and up to over $100,000 a year. Remember, you can also be an owner, right? You don't have to just be an employer. You could start your own business as an HVAC technician and have plenty of business. As long as buildings are gonna be around, there's gonna be a need to heat them and a need to cool them. So the demand for this job is not going anywhere. The fifth high paying trade job that does not require a college degree and is in demand and will be in demand is an electrical lineman. Electrical linemen install and repair electrical power systems and telecommunication cables. They're out there on the line doing the work in the heat, in the rain, in the snow, whatever. Weather is an issue when you're talking about being an electrical lineman. The training involves apprenticeships, various certification programs, and extensive on-the-job training. Remember, we're talking about heights, we're talking about electrical stuff. There's a lot involved with becoming an electrical lineman. The average salary is $75,000 to over $100,000, depending on where in the United States that you live. But the demand is there for this trade. Hey guys, if you're getting value from this video, do me a small favor and share this video with someone you know who could use this valuable information. Don't forget to smash that like button for me and please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Now, now, let's get back to the video. Now, the sixth high paying job trade that does not require a four year college degree is another one that deals with water. It's a boiler maker. And I'm not talking about the Purdue Boilermakers, right? I'm talking about the trade of a Boilermaker, which is where you are learning to install, maintain, and repair boilers and other large vessels that contain liquid or gases. The training involves apprenticeships and lots of on-the-job training. The average salary is anywhere from $75,000 to over $100,000. Now, number seven is aircraft mechanic. The job trade of an aircraft mechanic involves providing maintenance and repairs to anything that flies, helicopters or airplanes. Aircraft mechanics ensure that all the mechanical components of an aircraft meet the operational and safety requirements necessary to properly operate the aircraft. And so aircraft mechanics are usually gonna be working for governments, airports, military groups, you name it. Whoever handles, manages, and operates flying aircraft that's where an aircraft mechanic is gonna work. You'll be inspecting aircraft systems, diagnosing operational issues, cleaning and repairing mechanical parts, and obviously updating maintenance records. There's a lot to do and a lot to learn. The average salary is anywhere from $75,000 to well over $110,000 as an aircraft mechanic. Now, number eight on this list of high paying job trades that don't require a four year college degree is radiation therapist. That means you're administering radiation treatments and radiation to cancer patients and anyone that needs some type of radiation. The training for this is usually specialized technical programs, maybe even two years worth of schooling because there is some certification that's required for most of these jobs, specifically for this one. But this is healthcare in the healthcare realm. The average salary for radiation therapist is anywhere from $80,000 to $115,000, $120,000 on average, depending on where you live in the US. Now, number nine is power plant operator. Well, what does a power plant operator do? Typically, a power plant operator is gonna control and operate and manage and also maintain any of the machinery that's gonna be involved in generating electricity, any of that equipment that operates 
and functions to actually generate electricity, that's what a power plant operator is going to be dealing with on a regular basis every day. Now, in order to be a power plant operator, you got to have some training. Obviously, lots and lots of on-the-job training, but there's also technical schools and technical certifications that you'll need to get as well. Now, in terms of salary, you're talking anywhere from eighty-five or ninety thousand dollars up to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars on average. Now, the tenth one is one of my favorites. The tenth high-paying job trade that doesn't require a four-year college degree and is in high demand because it's highly specialized is an elevator installer, repairer, and mechanic. Whenever you're dealing with elevators, it's a very highly specialized skill. Elevator and escalator installers and repairers, they take care of both freight elevators and also passenger elevators and escalators. This is an interesting job that will be in high demand. It's gonna to continue to be in high demand. As long as we have to move stuff or move people up and down buildings, you're always gonna need someone who has the special technical expertise to maintain and operate the elevator, the escalator. So the demand will be there because we have buildings and we have a growing population of people that when they go in the buildings, they have to be transported up and down. So as we have more and more infrastructure buildings being built, we will see this job trade continue to be in demand. The training for this is gonna involve apprenticeship programs and on-the-job training, OJT. The average salary anywhere from $95,000 a year beyond $120,000 or $130,000 per year. And no four-year college degree is necessary. Now, a few of the honorable mentions. One is licensed practical nurse, the LPN. Big demand for the nursing industry, big demand for the LPNs. Usually the hierarchy is LPN and then RN. And some people, they don't want to become an RN. They're okay with being an LPN. Great trade. You're still helping people. You're still working in the nursing industry, in the healthcare field as an LPN. Great in-demand job trade that doesn't require the four-year college degree. Also, there's cable installer which usually requires a lot of outside work. There's real estate appraisers. There's also welders, right? That's a wonderful honorable mention as an in-demand skill that a lot of people have totally forgot about, but it's still around and still out there, right? Welding jobs are gonna allow you to work in various industries, the automotive industry, transportation, etc. Now, another honorable mention is automotive technician. Automotive technicians are gonna be around as long as we're driving cars, whether they're the vehicles that most of us drive today or they're electrical vehicles, people need automotive mechanics to actually work on their cars. Automotive mechanic is also a great place to actually start your own business. Now, these roles, they offer excellent high paying salaries and they often come with strong job security because of the specialization of what they do, right? There's always going to be a high demand for a highly skilled tradesperson who understands and knows the industry and is good at what they do, right? These jobs require certifications. They require apprenticeships. They require a lot of on-the-job training, and some require two-year programs, two-year associate's degree, or 18-month programs. But for the most part, guys, they do not require you to go out and spend four years on a bachelor's degree or six years on a master's degree. You don't need that. So there you have it, guys. I really, really, really hope this was helpful. And I hope I was able to answer the question of what are some high-paying jobs in the trades that are in demand, but you don't need that four-year college degree. Now, if you're looking for seven very, very important, high-quality, high-income skills that don't require a college degree, but will be in demand despite all of this new technology and AI that we see, you need to check out this video right here next. Peace.